Hello, this is Haku Bean, and I am here with a presentation. A lesson for those not initiated in being absolute cringe and being weaves. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on your brightness because my theme is my theme for this does not allow me to make the screen any darker colors I would prefer myself. Let's get into this. My freaking classroom. Oh. First thing we're talking about is the term Daijobu. In a lot of anime, this is used to refer to someone being okay. A lot of weaves like to use the actual Japanese words. Sometimes in a proper way, sometimes they use it absolutely incorrectly. In this case, sometimes they will say it as a way of just saying, I'm good. <sighs> oh boy, okay. Oni. Oni chan. This is a term that means big brother. And as some kids will call all older older um AMAP people because because um Japan is known for being a little bit transphobic right now. <sighs> or actually mask presenting people. Or will be called this as Mr. <sighs> it's used as a term of endearment and respect. And if you want to call someone your brother or something with and they aren't older than you, then you would probably you go with Ni Chan. Or Nei Chan if they're your sister. It's very fun. And I'm not reading these out to you. I assume you can read on your own. I might read out the memes and the funny stuff, but that's already heard enough to write. Please don't make me read. <laughs> don't make me read my own writing. I know it's bad. What the? Jill. <sighs> if you know some. Uh, YouTubers that I like to read neck grid stories a lot, then you already know what this is. And what I think the next one is. This is Nani, which is a question. Although there's a there's usually a lot more words in a question. It's just means what? We say it just on its own all the time. There's no getting around it. There's no saving them from it. It just happens. I forget what's back. What was next? Ah, frick. The other word from that series that I can't mention because. I don't want to. Baka. 
This is Japanese for an idiot. I think you know what an idiot is. I'm quite sure I know, I just look in the mirror. Or I just look at what I'm doing right now. <sighs> Why did I give these animations? Alright, this one's the, and the last one. This is a term that is used to refer to people who are considered higher than you on a social hierarchy of some sort, whether it be your superior at work, an upperclassman in school, or even someone that just happens to be older than you. However, if you're a weave or otaku, you probably know this as just simply what anime characters call the one they're in love with, as a like nickname or something. You probably got that from uh, the game made by a complete incel called uh, the Yandere Simulator. Where you just had uh, basically two characters that actually mattered, and it was Yandere Chan and Senpai. No, Senpai isn't a name, it's more like a rank. And the opposite of senpai is a kohai. When someone actually uses the word kohai, they actually know what senpai and kohai mean in actual Japanese. My eyes are screwed up, whatever. <sighs> oh, but someone just calls someone a senpai, you don't know for sure. So no, they aren't going to start calling people they hate Kohai, so that's not what's going to happen. At least, I don't think so. No, hey. Chibi is an art style that just makes a character more squished than usual. Usually with a really small body and a large head that's very round and circular. Its aim is to be more cutesy. I think a character that is pretty much always in Chibi form in when they're not in the real world is um, Morgana from the Persona 5 series, whenever he's in the metaverse that is. Oh boy, the suffixes! Let's freaking go! But these suffixes are not strictly gendered. They do have different meanings, and they are used in specific ways. When you call someone, and whatever their name is, Sama, that means you view them as someone who is in charge of you. And you call them a Kun, that means you view them as a buddy, he, and this is usually used for male presenting people. Chan is... A, is used for people presenting friends or people that you're close to in that way, like a family member. Sana is literally gender neutral and completely cold. And this term is outdated, but some people might still use it in some animes and some weaves might still try and use it, which is don't know, which is just pretty much an older version of Sama. Nobody calls anyone that anymore. It's 2023, not 1495. I don't know if Japan existed back in the 1400s.
This one's a fun one. Funny enough, I did not write the full word for what uh, any character that it has uh, as um, animal, animal features are, but we're talking about uh, NECAs. Quite literally, Japanese for cat, but some anime fans will use it to refer to characters that have animal-like like qualities, which are usually expressed in cat ears and or tails. The proper term for someone who has these qualities when they are specifically cat-like is, is Nekomimi. I forgot the word for it just in general. I didn't look it up. I I think it's like Kimono Mini. Basically, it's someone who has the features of an animal. It's not quite furry, but it can be furry, depending on who you are. Liking it doesn't mean you're not a furry, but liking it doesn't also doesn't mean you are one. <sighs> Literally, these are just ways that people say a bark and meow in Japanese. And uh, we also say it too sometimes. I mean, heck, even I sometimes accidentally meow. <laughs> Not in real life, just on the internet in general. Alright, I think that's enough for one day. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna hold off on doing a part two. My eyes are broken. Okay. Well, I guess I'll see you all tomorrow. I'll do part two when uh, I get popular demanded to again. <sighs> Goodbye.